They told you everything was waiting for you. They told you everything was set in stone. It's an open book, a road in reverse, a brand new hook. Forget that curse. Rewrite, ignite, restart. Cause it's your life. Oh, Cause you're a royal, you rebel, you more than one together. However, you go ever and ever after high. <laughs> And so here we are, Legacy Day, where the students of Ever After High sign the storybook of legends, pledging to follow the paths of their fairy tale parents. Or not. Seriously? I'm narrating here. <gasps> Maddie, you have to help me. I don't feel like I can sign the storybook of legends, but... I don't want to let everyone down, either. And do not forget the whole, if you don't sign, your story disappears, poof, and you may vanish into oblivion. <gasps> that's a thing, you know, and it's got to hurt. But we don't know if that's true. But what if it is? But what if it's not? But what if it is? You're not helping. Wait a tick. I think I know who can help. No, but see, I am totally a royal. <gasps> Raven! There you are. We have to talk. Ah, come back! Apple, oh, where are you going? I have to convince Raven to sign the book. My destiny depends on it. <gasps> Raven? If anyone knows the truth about the storybook of legends, it's Giles Grimm. Feathers and friends, together, alone. He's speaking riddleish. He was cursed with a babble spell. Makes him sound, you know, cuckoo. He says, it's nice to have us here. Ask him about the book. If I don't sign, am I really gonna uh, disappear? Mm -hmm. Can the musical chair change its tone when the tablet of granite is inscribed with a bone? Hmm. The king who sings with pages of sky fears too much the dawn that rises with lies. He says there's something wrong with the book. And then if you don't sign, your story will... What? What? Oh, sorry. If you don't sign, your story will continue. Oh, really? Oh, that's great. I think. Huh? You think? Hey, riddle-ish is not an exact language. At last, it was Legacy Day. Next we have Apple White. I am Apple White, daughter of Snow White, and I am ready to pledge my destiny. Next, Raven Queen. I am Raven Queen, daughter of the evil queen. And I pledge... Um, I... Come on, do it!
disappear. How could you be so, so selfish? <laughs> I'm sorry, Apple, but I. Sorry, Apple, but I don't want anyone to tell me who to be. I want to figure that out on my own. And don't you understand? I'm not the only one who gets to choose their own destiny now. We all do. Even you. But I don't want to choose a new destiny. I liked the one I had. And because of you, it might not happen. But it might. <laughs> I don't know. I, I just don't know. You're still here! No, poof! 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 Yay! I know! It feels good! Life between the Royals and the Rebels at Ever After High <laughs> would never be the same after Raven stood up for what she believed. What she believed was wrong. She didn't honor her destiny, she tempted fate. Listen, narrators! We are trying to have a nice moment here! <laughs> Raven does not know the forces she has released. This must be contained before her dangerous idea spreads. <laughs> <laughs>